hi guys and welcome back to my channel so in this video we're going to be talking about why you should stop going on retreats and why i have realized in recent times that retreats have not really been working and i've actually seen people who also have the same experiences right you go on a retreat then you come back you're rejuvenated you're fine and then two months down the line or one month down the line you're the same person all over again and it feels like what was the point of the retreat in the first place right so in this video i want to talk about tips to help you if you still want to go on retreat and you feel like it has not really been productive so if you're interested make sure to keep watching <laughs> So my name is Fadi Kemi. If you're new here, if you're not, what's up, my dreams? So let's talk about it, right? You guys, I'm one of those people who I'm an advocate of retreats, right? When people tell me, oh, I'm feeling burnout, I'm feeling, um, I'm not feeling my usual self, I'm not feeling like my spiritual self. I always tell them, okay, why not take some days off? You know, pray fast, stay with God, right? But I feel like that is like a an approach for when you want to rejuvenate when you are at a burnout state when something is not going right when you haven't prayed in a while all those kind of things right it is like a quick fix you know something to help there's not quick fix in christianity but like pardon me to use that word it's something that you can use to get results like on time and when i say result i don't mean like to make money to get a job i mean like results of growth in your spiritual life right so it actually can work but the problem is that if you are now stuck on i i need to have a retreat to get back into my spiritual vibe all the time then there's a problem and this is something that the holy spirit himself had to like show me to see myself to see that okay maybe the reason why like you can't keep saying okay when i go on a retreat i'll be fine okay when i go on a retreat i'll be fine i don't know if you guys are getting my point but like one of the things that i realized that okay i'm one of those people who will say oh yeah like maybe i've not prayed in like two weeks i just do thank you father for waking me up thank you father for waking me up every day every day every day saturday sunday i'll do this one do that one especially if you're like, like now a content creator and you're working in nine to five you have a son you're so busy doing a lot of things then you have to still focus on your spiritual life growth and everything there's a tendency to want to relegate your spiritual life to when you have retreats are you guys getting my point now so i realized that it was something that i was now using as a quick fix it is not supposed to be retreat is not supposed to be something you'll be doing every time to say oh yeah when you've not prayed too much you now come back and say yeah when i go on retreat you go on retreat then you come back and continue your life as you used to do it that is not like the plan right that's not the way it is supposed to be that's what god was making me see because sometimes when i see that oh maybe i've not i'll not be like oh yeah let me go on social media fast except that god's instruction that okay go off sometimes we take it like i personally i take social media fast i'll say okay i want to go off to rejuvenate then i'll come back and then i will now do three times <laughs> of the attention i gave social media before i will now start doing it all over again so what was the point of going on the retreat if i'm going to come back and still start doing let's say before i was spending like 18 hours on social media and i want to cut it so i say okay let me go on social media fast i need to recuperate i need to stop this behavior yada 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 then when you now come back instead of you that retreat is supposed to help you become better make better decisions help you stabilize but instead when you come back from your retreat what you're doing is you're not like ah oh, i'm better now i've missed social media then you will now start <laughs> you will now double the attention and time you were giving social media before and then it makes it kind of like useless if i do say so right it's the same thing with like maybe you're doing like a cleanse like maybe you're okay let's use for example people who say they want to lose fat lose weight right so you go on a one week oh no rice no this and that's why people who are dietitians and nutritionists actually say that when you want to go on this um when you want to start a weight loss journey don't overdo those that say oh i'm going to cut rice cut here cut this cut that because then it's not sustainable 
right? You're supposed to have a sustainable diet. And that is where I'm going to as a Christian. As a Christian, you're supposed to have a sustainable spiritual diet. What is your diet? What is what, what are you going to be doing every day? There is such immense growth in consistency and little drops. So when you choose to say, okay, every week I will do one hour of prayer, maybe every Friday night or every Saturday morning. And but every day, maybe because of your busy schedule, I will do 30 minutes a day. Depends on where you are. Some people can do one hour a day, right? But like Saturdays, you can say, okay, on Saturdays, I'll do more time. Every day you can say, I will not spend this time on social media. Instead of deciding, oh, I'm going to cut it at the end of two months when I go on my retreat. Then when you come back, you're the same person. That's why many people lose out on the weight loss journey because they are setting unrealistic goals. They are setting goals for themselves that, oh, I want to cut this. I want to cut that. They don't put in, they don't try to do it. Okay, let me break this, my goal into bits. And that's the same thing with our spiritual life. If you want to keep fit spiritually, you have to do it every day, every time, every minute. Yes, there will now be time for rejuvenation, right? When there are times where you would actually have to go off and, you know, recap, re-strengthen, come back stronger. But it is not an excuse to come back and be the same person you were, worse than you were before. So a few tips that I think would definitely help you if you are you know in that stage where you want to know okay should i go on retreat or should i not go on retreat yes do go on retreats when you feel the need when we say retreats by the way we mean like taking time off social activities things most times fasting or food and just dedicating that period to service of god praying studying like intense prayer intense um worship you know all those things that's what i mean by retreat a lot of us are familiar with the word right number one if you're gonna go on a retreat go on a retreat because you want growth because it's something that you're sensing the holy spirit calling you to do don't just do it because oh that's been long i've done it let me just do it <laughs> except it's like a retreat for like career growth and all that i'm talking about spiritual when you're going on like personal spiritual retreats for spiritual growth i think that you should actually do it as led don't do it because that's what everybody is doing or do it because oh yeah let me just do it you know because if you're just doing it you won't maximize the juice out of it number two if you're gonna go on a retreat ensure that you are truly maximizing what you decided to do out of it i have seen situations where and i speak for myself you guys I'll say I'm going on a social media fast, but I'll be on YouTube. So I'm kind of deceiving myself, right? Or, oh, I'm fasting from food, but I'm not praying. I'm not studying. I'll just be scrolling on social media. I'm deceiving myself, right? And I'm not even doing this to call anybody out. I'm telling you guys personally. Yeah, it's personal. <laughs> so yeah, as a person, if you know that you want to go on retreat, make sure that you're milking the juice be dedicated to it focus on it thirdly when you're done with your retreat that's not the time to now start saying oh i've missed eating i've missed it doing this i've missed doing that and then you now go back to where you used to be the time of your retreat should be when you now map out a strategy for consistency i say this like and i say this with every form of niceness that i can consistency is better than quick fixes when it comes to spirituality you're better off having your one one hour a day 30 minutes a day even 20 minutes a day dedicated studying the words praying and knowing that you're in tune with the holy ghost for the whole day right than waiting for that time when you have so much like 10 hours to yourself where you can say oh i have prayed for 16 hours no no so consistency every day will get you where you're going you will build character you will grow than waiting until then and i'm not saying that there are some people obviously some people have more time than some people that's why i'm saying at least 20 minutes a day there is no way you cannot bring out 10 minutes 20 minutes to pray in a day there's absolutely no way at least in three days you must have prayed at least 20 minutes if you cannot find 20 minutes to pray in three days Except it's like, maybe there's a busy system, maybe something is happening in that period. But your normal everyday life, you can't find 20 minutes to pray in at least two days. There's a problem with your normal everyday life. You are too busy, okay? Yeah, that's just it. So I don't know how busy you are, but you are too busy. That's, how, that, that's it. 
my fourth tip would definitely be that have a goal for your retreat don't just go on a retreat because yeah i've not gone on a retreat in a long time let me go because that's what i was doing i really <laughs> you guys are just be like mm, okay every three, three months let me go on a retreat and it's not bad to have a time th- that's another conversation because it's actually not bad to have a specified date like okay every three months i'm going to fast pray dedicated to actually growing but in the timetable that you have created ensure that when you when you decided to go on the retreat you will have a plan for what you intend to achieve from that retreat what is the goal right when you have a goal so that when you come out of the retreat you can achieve and do what you gotta do this is not even just for spiritual retreats alone even for career retreat if you're going on a career retreat you should have a goal you should have a reason why you're going on what you're going for so my fifth point would definitely be that have a pen and paper ready for instructions from god don't just waste it since you decided to commit that time let that time be very very useful for you ensure that you have a pen and paper ready to listen to what god has to say your readiness to listen will be more profitable for you to hear like what i mean is when you have that consciousness that you want to listen you would be able to hear what god is saying and what god has to say okay yes so if you have any thoughts concerning retreat have you taken personal retreats have you stopped taking personal retreats do you think it is your magic wand it works for you all the time and if you disagree with what i said also comment below if you agree comment below let me know your thoughts on this topic i will see you in my next video do not lapse last thirdly